Welcome back. Well, some serious pedal power will be back in action next month with the annual ride for Roswell. Since the inaugural ride in 1996, more than $53 million has been raised for cutting edge cancer research and patient care. And this morning, our Mike Randall introduces us to one cyclist who's taking his fundraising efforts to a whole new level and helping save lives in the process. He'll admit he's not the best bike rider around. Oh my, I almost fell off. <laughs> I almost crashed just now. But when it comes to raising money for the ride for Roswell, John Conciardo can't be beat. I've raised 150000 this year. JC, as most people know him, got hooked on the annual fundraiser a decade ago when a co-worker asked him to ride. That was the first time I got on a bike in a long time and I rode 20 miles and I'm still hurting. <laughs> and so uh, I've raised 32000 that year. He credits his success to West Her, the company he works for. The respect that the owners of West Her, Brad Hafner, Scott Bueller, John Wabick, and Bill Losher, what they've garnered in this community is what made it all happen for me. This year, JC's 10th year of being the number one fundraiser for the ride is extra special. This is the year he reaches the $1 million mark. I just passed a million fifty-one thousand. So, uh, if you ever that out, it's like 105000 a year. His devotion to the cause comes from the fact that cancer has touched his life. I'm passionate about it. My mom died at age 58, lung cancer. My sister, twin sister, has, has lung cancer. My brother, Jim, has lung cancer. So, uh, but they both went to Roswell and they're good. The annual fun family event takes place August 7th. And it's not too late to get in on the action. You can sign up to ride or just make a donation at rideforroswell.org. His bike skills may be iffy, but there is no doubt that John Conciardo will keep pedaling for the ride for Roswell. It means a lot that I know that I can, I can have my legacy to say, look, I did everything I could to raise as much money as possible for the ride for Roswell and for Roswell Park. Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News.